Alright, here's what's going on. Got a bunch of people sending me emails requesting my tab for my Lips of an Angel cover or the place where I got the tab. Well, the answer is I listened to it and I figured it out by ear. So, somebody give me a good suggestion why not just make an instructional video? That's exactly what this is, so let's get started. Alright, Hinder, the song. Lips of an Angel, it's only got a few chords in it that make up the whole entire song. And so, you learn the chords, you learn the song. Anyway, first chord, here, let me zoom in on this chord. I'll set for a sec. I'll zoom in on all these so you can see what it looks like. The first chord is going to be, it's not going to be an A chord. It's going to be kind of like an A chord, but instead of having an A, like this, with you know three fingers like that and sounding like you're gonna move your ring finger up to the third fret it's gonna be on the second string so it sounds like this so it's not gonna be it's gonna be this so you have that's the A chord at the beginning of the song and then it goes straight into a B minor chord you got your uh, index finger, fifth string, second fret, middle finger, second fret, uh, second string, third fret, and then you got your other two fingers here, like a normal chord. So now you've got a B minor chord. And that's going to be the second chord in the song. So you got the A to the B minor, and then you move it down. Then you move it to the 5th fret, and the chord is a G, it's a G chord, but what I do, I add the little, the minor notes, so you have, and once again, that's on the 5th fret, so you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you got this index finger bar chord in that, and you get skip top string, and then the 5th string, and then you get these next two strings with the other two fingers, so it, so our order so far is the A thing, B minor, the G, and then it moves straight into a D suspended from there. So basically it's like a D, like a regular D is like this, but you take that middle finger out and you don't play that top string, I mean that first string, you just play the D. And that's the chord for that. So, for the first verse, chord progression is the A, the B minor, then the G, and then back to the D suspended. And basically the strumming pattern for that, it's nothing too complicated, it's just a little... something you want to, that's very important, it's kind of badly demonstrated just now, but listen to this note, listen to this note. You want to make sure you hear that note in every strum, so you hear that note here, right, so you got, then, then you play a couple other notes, and then it goes to the B minor, and that B minor is the same note, so you go, ah, wrong chord. You got that right there. Then you move into the G, and if you notice that fourth note right here, it's on the third string. It's the same note right there. You want to make sure you hear that. And then it goes into the D, and you got that finger on that string, so you should hear it. Right? So you want to make sure you hear that note. I've done it in all my other videos, so I don't care. Alright, anyway, moving on from the verse. The fourth time, or whenever it is, the last time you do the verse before you go into the pre-chorus, 
where it starts saying, my girl's in the next room, and all that, yada, 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 you hold the G. Instead of going to the D, you hold the G again. So it's going to be... And that's when you hit the D for the chorus. I'm running out of tape, that's what it is. Never mind. Anyway, so you just hit that D.